I'm County Executive Jessica Fitzwater. Thank you for the privilege of serving as your County Executive. One of my most important responsibilities is to develop a budget that invests in our community's priorities. My first budget is anchored in the core values of accountability, inclusion, and sustainability, values that form the foundation of my administration. I am proud that this budget reflects unprecedented community input, makes smart investments in our people, and is fiscally sound. More than 1,500 people helped to develop our budget through our town halls, our Balancing Act survey, or by submitting comments. I am proud that so many of you chose to engage in helping us craft the proposed fiscal year 2024 operating and capital budgets. I heard loudly and clearly that you expect us to invest in our people, and that's what this proposed budget does. Our incredible public schools are one of the leading reasons people want to live in Frederick County. Over the past five years, 18 of Maryland's 24 jurisdictions saw student enrollments drop. During that same time, Frederick County Public Schools enrollment rose nearly 10%. This puts tremendous strain on educators, administrators, support staff, and most importantly, our students. This budget includes $405 million for Frederick County Public Schools, which is $35 million more in operating funds than the legally required maintenance of effort and an additional $2.9 million in in-kind support. This is record funding for our schools, yet it still does not meet the Board of Education's full request. I look forward to working with Superintendent Dyson, the Board of Education, and other stakeholders so we can develop a sustainable approach to implementing the blueprint for Maryland's future and ensuring our schools are a place where every student can succeed. Enrollment growth puts unprecedented pressure on our school facilities. We face the dual challenge of building new schools and renovating our existing buildings. The proposed capital budget addresses both challenges. We will open a new Brunswick Elementary School this August. We will begin work on an addition to Crestwood Middle School, a new larger Green Valley Elementary School, and a replacement Valley Elementary School. We also will begin the design phase to replace Middletown Elementary and Middle Schools on a co-located campus. This capital plan includes renovations to Monocacy and Spring Ridge Elementary Schools, and we will deliver a new Liberty Elementary School a year sooner than promised with design funding in FY25. Frederick Community College serves a wide range of our residents and is committed to remaining an affordable educational option for our community. The proposed budget will help them meet that goal with over 1.8 million in additional funding. This will allow FCC to freeze tuition and fees for the second consecutive year and provide funding equivalent to a 5% cost of living adjustment for employees, which will help retain and attract highly qualified faculty and staff. I am excited to work with President Cheek and the FCC Board of Trustees to strengthen our partnership and find innovative ways to meet our workforce needs. Like FCC, Frederick County Public Libraries support lifelong learning opportunities for our residents. This proposed budget includes key staff members to enhance customer services and support Spanish-speaking residents. And we're excited that the new Middletown Branch Library will open this fall. The Capital Improvement Plan also provides for new libraries in the eastern part of the county and in the west end of the city of Frederick. Our high concentration of educated workers helps keep our economy diverse and strong with a world-class bioscience and technology sector, a growing manufacturing sector, and a rapidly diversifying agricultural sector. We are home to more than 7,700 businesses that employ more than 100,000 workers, and our unemployment rate is lower than the state's. Because of these strengths, we can help our lowest income residents in ways other jurisdictions cannot. The proposed budget reduces the personal income tax for people making less than $25,000 to 2.25%. This is the lowest rate allowed by state law. And if the budget is adopted, Frederick County will be the first jurisdiction in Maryland to have a 2.25% bracket for working families and seniors on a fixed income. Our property tax rate remains unchanged. 
we have the elements required to build one of the most vibrant, creative economies in the nation. The Livable Frederick Master Plan calls for supporting the creative economy, and my transition team echoed that call. The proposed budget reinstates the county's admissions and amusement tax to fund grant programs so we can harness the energy in the arts community and grow our creative economy. This budget builds on our successes. Our award-winning Agriculture Innovation Grants Program and Preservation of Agricultural Land remain critical tools to support Frederick County farmers. While our economy is diverse and strong, we must recognize that it does not include everyone. During the transition, we heard from minority and women-owned businesses who want better access to our procurement and contracting processes. A disparity study will be conducted to help us identify inequities in our processes. We will use the results of this study to develop the county's first minority business enterprise program. We will also work to address small business concerns by creating positions for an ombudsman and small business navigator to help local businesses. Over the past two years, even as Maryland as a whole lost population, Frederick County grew. People are choosing to move here because they recognize all our community has to offer. But growth increases pressure on our housing market, social safety net, and amenities. We need housing policies and programs designed to meet the needs of all Frederick County residents, which is why I am elevating the housing department to a housing division. Our goal is to help current residents stay in their homes and help new residents afford to live in this vibrant community. The proposed budget increases the Housing Initiative Fund and includes a housing needs assessment so we can truly understand the scope of our challenge. Frederick County was recently ranked among the healthiest counties in Maryland. We should celebrate this ranking, but we should not ignore the disparities people experience because of their race, income, or geography. We must improve health outcomes for everyone and eliminate the gaps that exist in every metric we track. The proposed budget addresses health disparities and includes funding for our new Crisis Stabilization Center. Our high quality of life is why people want to live here. The proposed budget includes more than 4.5 million in Frederick County's bikeways and trails system. This record investment will allow us to update the bikeways and trails plan and advance projects like the Frederick and Pennsylvania Line Rail Trail and the new design road side path, while adding design funding for a new trail connecting Middletown and Myersville. Bikeways and trails provide a safe, sustainable and equitable way for everyone to access jobs, healthcare, exercise, and more. We are putting a continued emphasis on serving our aging population. Within the first three years of the Capital Improvement Plan, we will make significant investments in our senior centers, including a feasibility study for a new and improved Brunswick Senior Center, a brand new facility in East County, and renovations to our Frederick Senior Center. We will also develop a service coordination model to help our most vulnerable seniors age in place. As we invest in our community, we also must consider the impacts of climate change on our environment and our people. This budget prioritizes the critical work we must do to respond to climate risks and build resilience as a community. employees here in Frederick County government are some of our greatest assets. People come to work here because they want to serve others. I am committed to investing in our workforce. This proposed budget includes a 5% cost of living adjustment for non-union employees and honors the contracts with our public safety unions. Our 911 emergency communication specialists are on the front lines of responding to crises. The proposed budget provides additional staff and supports the operations of a new state-of-the-art next generation 911 center funded through an increase to the 911 fee on cell phone bills. The budget also reflects key changes in classifications, shift differentials, and salaries to recognize the sacrifices our emergency communication specialists make. This proposed budget is fiscally sound. 
it has healthy reserve funds, meets our long-term pension obligations, and makes tactical investments to protect our coveted AAA bond rating from all three rating agencies. This bond rating gives the county the opportunity to borrow funds at a much lower interest rate. These savings allow us to invest in moving Frederick County forward. I want to thank our incredible team in the budget office and to our entire FCG workforce for their expertise as we crafted this year's operating and capital budgets. I am proud to work with you every day and grateful for the service you provide to our residents. This budget reflects community input, makes smart investments in our people, and I am pleased to submit it to the County Council for consideration. Through this budget, we are making investments that will make Frederick County a great place to live and work where everyone has the opportunity to thrive.